What's up guys, we are back with another Q&A and just like in the last video, you can see that this is not my office. We are still in Monte Carlo in Monaco for the Top Marks 2023, the most exclusive car show in Europe with the craziest audience in Europe and the hottest sports cars yet you can probably find anywhere on the continent. I'm sitting on beautiful Shadow 500 right outside the convention center and you guys have sent in so many questions. Before we jump in, I know that a lot of you guys are watching the channel. I also know that a lot of you guys have not subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor, reward the marketing team, reward the people that are giving their best, put all their passion, put all their heart and soul into this channel by clicking the like button, clicking on subscribe, and you'll get more Brava's goodness in the future. Now let's jump in the first question by Julian Dubner. Do you have any tips for me on how to find a mentor? Now, Julian, perfect question. Thank you very much. Let's discuss this. What is a mentor? It's a person helping you learn something. It's a person helping you grow in life, but it doesn't have, but does it have to be a person at all? If you want to grow as a person, there's a few things you can do. A few things that I recommend you to do. Read books. Go to places where you meet cool people, smart people. Go to university, study, do an apprenticeship, get a good job that you actually love and want to put all your energy in. There's a lot of ways that you can grow as a person. If you actually want to find a mentor, start working with somebody. Invest all your energy into a job where you meet people, your boss, somebody who is higher, higher up on the career ladder, the head of a department, the owner of a company. Show them that you are willing to put in the work. Show them that you are passionate about what you do and eventually you will end up on their radar. What, what will that mean? You will get more work. Now, when that happens, be aware of the fact that it is a good thing. A mentor, AKA a person that helps you grow in life. Now, first of all, you're gonna have to ask yourself the question, what's the area of life you wanna grow in? It's the people who are around you will define who you are, will define who, are, who you are going to be. You will grow through people in life. If you want to find somebody who will help you grow, you first have to know which direction do you want to grow in. If you are sure about that, if you, want to, if you know what your passion is, if you know what you want to work on, then just get going. Put all your energy, put all your passion into your job, into your hobby, into your sports team, into whatever you are doing that it is that you're doing with all your heart and soul. And eventually, you'll end up on the radar screen of somebody who's higher up on the career ladder, who's the captain of the team, who's, who you think is great looking, who is your role model, and they will start talking to you. Don't stand in the corner and wait for it to happen, get active. You wanna find a mentor? Put in the energy, put in the drive, put it into whatever you are doing that is your passion, and eventually you're going to find people who will help you grow. Next question, by the way, thank you very much. It is a good one and all of us need people to help us grow. Thank you. Next question by Walid. Is Bravis thinking about doing a collaboration with a designer brand, AKA Louis Vuitton, Gucci, etc., to make an official one of one vehicle? Now, <laughs> you're asking, is Bravis thinking about doing a collaboration? Are we thinking about thinking about, maybe thinking about maybe doing a collaboration with a designer brand? <laughs> the answer is yes, of course we are. Are we going to do it? I'm not going to tell you. Uh, Brava Signature Night is happening on June 29th this year and we're going to have a lot of very, very cool world premieres, a lot of fresh new releases that are going to roll out in the fashion show at the same time they're going live online. It is our only worldwide release event with six, this time 600 guests from 50 countries. It's going to be online. Look at what's coming out. Look at what we're presenting and you're, going to find a, a, you're, and you're going to find a lot of new stuff. Is there going to be a collaboration with the designer brand? You'll see it when it happens. Next question, Oliver XNO is asking, would you have thought 10 years ago that you would be where you are now? And the answer is very clear, 100% no. If you had told me 10 years ago, if you had told me five years ago, even if you had told me two years ago or three years ago where we are right now, I would have told you, what stuff are you smoking? Bring me some of it, I want that. It's gotta be good. I had no idea in 2018, when my father suddenly passed away from a stroke and I had to take over our business as a CEO. I had experience working in the company. I knew the brand very well. I had no idea when I took over that business 
whether the company would be in existence 12 months later. It was a full-blown crisis. Somebody, the, the founder of a business drops dead, suddenly you have a problem. The team got together, everybody worked together, which is why today I say Brabus has the greatest team in the world. I don't want to work anywhere else. Shout out to everybody in Team Brabus. You guys are killing it. And that crisis, that time proved to me that we can achieve a lot of things. And of course, the business existed 12 months later. The business still exists and is actually thriving five years later. But could I have known? No. I didn't know in 2018 what would happen in 19. I didn't know in 19 what would happen in 20. And slowly but surely, we managed to organize the business in a way that we could see ahead 12 months. Now we can see ahead in terms of the projects that we're doing for about 24 months. Some projects are going on for about, we know we have to do it if we're, for example, building new buildings, setting up new processes, modernizing our IT infrastructure. You have to look ahead for 36 or 48 months. Does that mean I know what's going to happen next year? Absolutely not. With all the political crises going on right now, I have no idea what's going to be, what's going to happen next year. You have no idea what's going to happen next year. My job as a CEO is to work on the things I can control and to hedge against the things I cannot control. I always tell people that I'm leading the company with two variables in mind. One is speed. It means how fast are we turning over projects? How fast are we completing projects? How fast are we moving forward as a brand? How much life is there in a brand? How much energy do we have as a brand? The other thing is resilience. That's the hedging part. How resilient are we in the case of a crisis? How resilient are we when a meteorite hits our factory? To give you a weird example, to give you, you know, an outrageous example. All those things are my job. That is how we lead our business. That's the topic that's behind your questions. Did I know where we were going to be in 2022? No, I did not, but that's life. If you want to know for certain where you are going to be in 10 years, don't become a CEO of a bigger company because you're going to have to deal with uncertainty. How important is the clothing segment for Brabus? Thank you very much. It is something that we started about two or three years ago. There had always been a few items such as t-shirts, polo shirts, etc. But to give you a short answer, it is something new and it had a few different benefits for us. First of all, we wanted to dress the team. Second of all, we had more and more fans asking about it. Thirdly, it became something that we thought we could sell. Is it a central part of our business today? No. Is it growing? Yes. Does it make sense to have it? Absolutely. Because at every video shoot, at every conference, at every every trade show, even at, you know, at Brabus HQ, if you walk around, everybody's dressed well and all of our fans have a chance to buy a t-shirt, buy a polo shirt, buy a sweatshirt that maybe can't afford to buy a Brabus Masterpiece car, but that's how you can get your own piece of Brabus gear and that's how you can support us as a brand. I appreciate everybody who buys a t-shirt, by the way, all of this stuff is online at shop.brabus.com or just go to brabus.com, you'll find a link leading you there. I appreciate every one of you buying a t-shirt, buying a sweater, uh, or any other item that is online. This year we're gonna come out with something that is a lot more progressive than the collection we have done, because the collection we have right now covered the basics. And I asked the question, how would we design clothing if we put the same resources behind it that we're putting behind our cars or our boats or our motorbikes? It's going to be an interesting experiment and there's going to be quite a few very interesting pieces. Be sure to check them out when they hit our Instagram and uh, YouTube channel. I look forward to hearing your opinion. Last question for the day by Sassy Packers. Was war dein liebstes schnelles Auto bisher? Um, how do I answer this question? Okay, guys, Brava's history is full of very fast cars. So I'm gonna have a problem here. Let's go through history really quickly. My favorites are the 190E 3.6, one of the most significant cars in Brabus history. Very fast, very sporty car at the time. The EV12, absolutely massively fast, massively cool car. The first real wolf in sheep's clothing. 12-cylinder E-Class, absolutely massive car. The, uh, the first Brabus rocket, back then based on the first generation CLS today. The successor, of course, is a G GT63 uh, AMG. Also, absolutely spectacular car. Uh, GV12, 12-cylinder G-Class with increasing power over the years. Absolutely, absolutely one of my favorites. Gotta be in the collection, no way around it. As I mentioned before, GLS 900 from the current lineup. Brabus 820 based on the 911 for the coolest turbos. Current car in the lineup. So S Coupe 800, one of my absolute favorites. It is a crazy car. 
and the list goes on and on and on but I think those are some of my favorites that you, some you might know some not if you don't read up on them they're massively cool cars and you'll find them covered a lot on all kinds of website and in all websites and in all kinds of articles next question by STO 2.2 where did all the W201s W120 W124s W126s R129s and W140s produced by Brabus end up are they still vehicles in collections or privately owned it's interesting that you ask the question in relation to those models because you could ask the question for every single model that we've ever worked on but in the case of those models the answer is either private collections or businesses around the world currently we sell to about 100 countries and i cannot tell you where every single car went but i keep seeing them over and over again at events when customers come in when they need service and it's always fun to see a young timer come in that has that still belongs to a loyal customer who maybe has a collection of Brabus cars or who is purchasing a new Brabus masterpiece and brings in his old car to get a service to get refurbished to get work done I love that I love it when we have customers that have that kind of history and that's actually how we've been building our brand the last 46 years thank you guys for sending in the questions as always I appreciate every single one of them and it's amazing to me how deep you dive into our brand how much you are thinking about this stuff I enjoy the discussions with you I enjoy the conversations with you so keep sending them in and we are go believe me the team is going through every single one of them and I'm going to answer as many of them as we can before we end this video there's one thing I want to ask you we put a lot of work and passion into this coming up with the videos the channel for you guys but before I start to cry, I'm just going to ask you, hit the like button, subscribe, do me a favor. Cedric is crying already. That's how you reward, that's how you reward him and Dennis and Sven and everybody in Team Robbins who's working so hard for this. Click the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next Q&A. Peace out.